Hey there, let me show you what's a command tree. Okay, so what's a command tree? Well, a command tree is a menu system in WinDebug. Basically, it's a menu system that is not well documented, so a lot of people don't know about it. But it is a very simple to use menu system in which you can write your own commands and put them in WinDebug so that when you want to type complex commands, all you got to do is click with your mouse. Okay, so how do you create a command tree? Well, all you got to do is open a blank file. I'm going to just open a file in Notepad and I'm going to type the command I want for my command tree. Then I'm going to save it onto the disk and load it into WinDebug. Okay, so the first line that you want to type in your file is just the uh, name of the file. So just put WinDebug ansi command tree 1.0. The title means absolutely nothing. Um, the next line that you want to type, I'm, I'm just pasting it from a file off screen, but um, you, you can just type it out. It's the, it's the same thing. Um, you want to give the command tree a title. So I'm going to put the title by high voice. You can put any title you want. Um, I'll, I'll keep a, I'll, I'll copy the content of this command tree into the description of this video, but you can put any title you want and uh, just, just go nuts with that. Then put the uh, word body. So body is just the body of all the commands that you're going to put. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a menu. So how do you write a menu in command tree is you put the uh, curly brace, you open curly brace, you put a code and then just type uh, any title you want for that menu that will appear in WinDebug. So I'm just going to call it a uh, memory dump. Then what I'm going to do is under that menu, I'm going to put a another menu and I'm just going to call it plugins. Uh, this is just my way of arranging things. It, it really doesn't matter. Then I'm going to put a command. Um, under plugins. So how do you put a command is quite simple. You just put, I'm, I'm just going to indent it so that it's easy to read. I'm going to put the command show and I'm going to make it do chain. So let me give you a description of what I'm doing. So this is a command because it has another curly brace afterwards. If you have a curly brace, open curly brace here and you have a string inside, this string is executed when I click on the word show in the command tree. So later when I load the command tree, there should be under plugins, there should be show. Let me add a few more commands to my command tree. So the next command I'm going to add is a quite a familiar command is load.net. And the one after that I'm going to add is um, analyze minus V. So one of the good things about command tree is you can put uh, numbers in the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a number, number one for load.net and number two for analyze. And the reason I want to do that is this can form like kind of like a memory map that if I want to do something, I can actually save all the commands using numbers and then I can just follow along and go, okay, I open the memory dump, I click number one. Then after it is done, I click number two, then I click number three and then I click number four and I can make like a long list of things to do. And this makes it very easy if I want to debug memory dumps and I don't want to type so much and I know that the commands are going to work so I can just list it down by number. Okay, so I've got a couple of commands in my command tree. I can keep going and adding more commands but let me just make this video short. Um, I'm just going to save it and load it in WinDebug and then I'm going to execute these commands to show you how awesome command tree is. So let me just save this uh, this file. I'm just going to save it on my hard disk in some location and then I'm going to switch to WinDebug and load it in. Let me switch to WinDebug. There we are. So what I have on my screen is I've just started WinDebug and I've loaded a memory dump and it has hit a, a exception. And I, I don't particularly care what, what the memory dump is doing. I just want to show how to load a command tree. So all you got to do is uh, once WinDebug has started and the prompt is available, you just run this command cmd tree and give it the full path to where the file is. So let me just do that real quick. There we are. And what we have over here 
is the command tree. Um, let me move the uh, screen just a bit so that uh, we can see the uh, commands. So the command tree is uh, it's just a menu. It's just a menu. And the beauty of it is that you all you got to do is double click on the command and it will execute what was written. So show over here, uh, this was chain. That's what I put in the file. So if I double click this, it's going to just run chain over here. There we are. So that's that's really simple. So the reason I put the numbers in the front was that um, if I want to run them in sequence, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click number one, which is load.net over here. And there we are, load by SOSCLR. And I'm going to click number two, analyze. And there we are, exception analysis is running. So this makes it really easy to remember all the complex Windy Bug commands. I actually use a version of the command tree. I, I have a, like a few of these files for very complex debugging, but you can make your own. And there we are, um, analyze just finished. Um, yeah, probably something wrong in the file. I don't really care. I just want to show you how command tree works. And there we have it. A very, very simple but powerful feature of WinDebug. Uh, let me just switch back to my screen. So I I have a few command trees. Uh, I'll put them up on GitHub or somewhere if you want to take a look at it. Uh, but mostly I just uh, group up all the commands that are related to a particular particular type of memory dump. Like if I'm working on a native memory dump, I use a command tree for native. I managed, I use a command tree for manage, but you, you can make any kind of command tree you want. So I think I will just leave it here since command tree there's not that much to it. It's just a very powerful tool. Uh, keep, the, keep the video short. I think a short video gets the point across. Um, just a gentle reminder to subscribe, hit that bell icon, um, it, it really does help me know what kind of content to produce. Um, the more people who subscribe and give comments about WinDebug, the more I know uh, make more WinDebug videos. I've got a couple of ideas in the pipeline and I don't know how much is, how much time to spend on them, but I think I think WinDebug's doing well. So I might make more WinDebug videos, but do hit that bell icon, subscribe, give me a like if you if you like it, and I'll definitely stick to WinDebug videos. As usual, it's been a pleasure bringing you this information. I'm High Voice, signing out.